In this video, we're gonna be talking about the two types of motivation that it takes in order to succeed. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nathan Lucas with Freedom Influencer and here on this channel, we talk about how to make money online, how to generate a passive income so you can create a life of freedom. If you want more videos on that, I invite you to go down, subscribe to this channel and be sure to hit that bell notification so that way you get notified of when we come out with new videos. Now, let's get into the content of this video, which is how do you create success? And what you really have to think about is the motivation behind creating success. And there's two types of motivation that I wanna talk about and share with you in this video, okay? And what we're talking about is something called push-pull, all right? And I wanna talk about both of these, and I wanna explain a little bit of my thought process of where I started and how it wasn't exactly what I thought it was uh, along my journey to creating success and becoming successful in my own venture, okay? So the first one we have would be something called push, okay? And honestly, I believe that push motivation is what most people experience in their life uh, in order to create success in whatever they're looking to create success, success in. So let's talk about what is push motivation versus pull motivation. Push motivation is usually caused by a situation that someone doesn't wanna be in or a pain that they have, okay? Now, I'm in the online marketing space, uh, online entrepreneurship. So basically, what this means is, you, for me in my niche, I could get online and people can come online and create an online business that could change their financial situation and change their life, right? So what is it, when I look at this industry that I'm a part of, what is it that motivates most people to seek out financial freedom, to pursue changing their life with an online business? A lot of the times it's push motivation because maybe they're not happy with their, their job. This is the, you know, the majority of people go to a job every single day that they absolutely hate. Maybe they hate their coworkers, maybe they hate their, their boss, maybe they hate their pay. Maybe they're honestly just not being paid what they're worth. And so maybe people feel like they're valued at a higher point than what they're being paid. And so they get, they get in this place of pain where they don't wanna be where they want to be. Now I don't know the case for you, but when someone gets to a point in their life where they say, I am fed up, I'm just sick of it, and they go searching for a different way, a way to break free from the pain or the situation that they're in, this is what we call push motivation. Because they're in a, in a place in their life where they don't wanna be, and they're being pushed to do something different about it, okay? And if we look at uh, other industries, let's just take it professional sports as an example. A lot of time, which I believe is actually a lot of both, which we're gonna talk about pole motivation here in just a minute. But a lot of times, this can even apply to athletes. Maybe they have a, a, a background in a life that they wanted to get out of, and they looked at sports, becoming a professional athlete, as a way to get out of it. Same thing goes with basically anything uh, that you can pursue that can create wealth in your life. A lot of people will do this out of a pain, out of a place that they came from that they are just fed up with, okay? That's what we're talking about when, when we you hear the word push motivation. Now let's talk about pull motivation, okay? And then I'm gonna share my a little bit of my story with you guys. So the next one is pull motivation. Pull motivation is basically the idea that you want to create success in your life or you want to have an impact that can, same thing, maybe create financial freedom, maybe have an impact on the lives of other people. But when we're talking about pull motivation, it is the idea that you are being pulled to a greater purpose. You understand that you have a higher potential, you have a calling maybe on your life to where you are being pulled to increase your value in this world, to increase, yes, your financial situation because you understand a purpose that is greater than the situation that you're in right now, okay? So I don't know which uh, motivation that you guys have, 
please share with the community down in the comments of what motivation you're more that really has a bigger effect in your life. Is it pull motivation or is it push motivation for you specifically? Now I'm going to share you got with you guys a little bit about my journey as far as my motivation goes, uh, pull versus push motivation. And honestly, it, it is and has been both uh, along my journey. Okay, so. I'm just gonna share with you real quick uh, my, my journey from the very start. Now, I first found entrepreneurship at a young age. I was actually a teenager, and it's very, very easy to have pull motivation in the aspect of financial freedom, okay, and money, okay? And so when I was young and I found out that I could create a lot of money, my eyes lit up and I said, oh my God. And actually when I was younger, it was of course where most of us uh, are first exposed to entrepreneurship is through network marketing, okay? And so I was exposed to network marketing at a young age. I, I sort of pursued it. Uh, I was serious about becoming a, a successful online or a successful entrepreneur. Uh, and I thought, I thought initially I was gonna be a rock star network marketer, however, uh, after you know looking at it and failing at it and finally figuring out that network marketing at least the traditional way of talking to your friends and family knocking on doors and doing all the ridiculous things that we do when we first find network marketing usually at a, a young age I found that that wasn't for me and so years down the road I found online marketing and that people were building multiple six-figure businesses and million dollar businesses from the comfort of their own home and so, yes, I had some motivation towards creating financial success, financial freedom and becoming financially free. Absolutely, I wanted that. And guess what? I still, to this day, a part of what I do is, yes, to create an income. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There, you'll, you'll see some people who will talk, put a negative connotation on money. But money is the very thing that's going to allow you to do bigger and better things with your life, okay? So when I first got started, in my first year or two in entrepreneurship, uh, I really had both. I had a pull motivation and I had a push motivation. But I want you guys to understand something, that a trap that I think a lot of people fall into. And that is, you know, we have a lot of inspiring people out there like Eric Thomas and says, you gotta, you gotta want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, okay? And I actually love that quote, but I think that some people, including myself, fall into a trap, and that is this, okay? Uh, I, you know, my full-time job in the military, I'm so grateful for, okay? Absolutely grateful, my life changed before I was an entrepreneur, okay? Be, the, my journey in the military allowed me to become a better person, to, to work on myself and my education, and really just believe in myself, okay? So with that being said, being grateful for my career in the military, which I'm still in even to this day, I started to think about what I really wanted as an entrepreneur and I wanted so badly to create success and I knew that I had it in me, but I also wanted to make an impact. I knew that I could create a business that I could impact the lives of millions of people in a positive way and I, I, little Nathan, could make a difference in this world and create financial freedom doing it. So I had the pull motivation. But here's what happened is that my success didn't come as fast as I wanted it to. And guess what? That's the case for a lot of people. We want it now, we want it tomorrow or very quickly. And that's not the way that growing a business works. You're never going to have overnight success. And along my journey, struggling for the first year, two years, where I wasn't getting the results that I wanted in my business, I said, okay, is my motivation messed up? And I started questioning my motivation because I had the pull motivation, okay? I wanted to you know, create financial freedom and I wanted to make an impact in the lives of other people. But because of the results I was getting, I was questioning whether or not my motivation was enough. And so I started to tell myself maybe I'm not being pushed enough, all right? And I think that I'm not the only one 
who may have this in their life and in their business, which is why I, I wanted to share this with you guys, is I started to make myself believe that I needed more push motivation. I felt like I needed more push motivation. And so I started to tell myself that I was unhappy. I started to tell myself that I don't want it bad enough. My circumstances need to be worse because I wasn't miserable in my life. I have my, my, my wife, I'm married, I have a beautiful wife. Uh, you know, we had, our, we had a good home, I had a good job. In life, honestly, it wasn't bad. And so I started to tell myself, maybe the reason I'm not creating success as fast as I wanted to is because I, I'm not uncomfortable in my life. I'm happy with my life and I need to be, get to a place of misery in order to push me to success. And I wanna, I wanna share something with you guys that is so powerful that I've learned over the last few years. And that is that story that I just told you about myself is a lie. It's not true. And I know that there are maybe gonna be a few, if not a lot of people who, who may watch this video where you are in a situation that sucks and you have push motivation that you wanna get out of your job, you wanna get out of your situation. Maybe you're struggling financially and you're trying to feed your family. If you have a push motivation, use it. Use it to strive for success. But if you were like me, where guess what? I had a pull motivation and my push motivation was very minimal, that is okay. It is okay to not be miserable and, and have to use that to create success. And so that was my story, you guys, is that over time, I started to finally realize that you know what, I am so, mo every day I get up and I am motivated for the bigger purpose of who I wanna become, and yes, the income that I'm gonna have, and yes, the impact that I'm gonna be able to make uh, upon millions of people's lives. And so I want you to really take a step back and say, what, what is my motivation? Why am I doing what I'm doing? And understand that whatever your motive is, and, and the only caveat Whatever your motive is, is enough, is what I wanted to say. But I'll give you one caveat to this, and that is if you're just seeking money for the sake of what most people do it and they don't even know it, is for social, uh, for, on a social aspect, for social approval. You don't need money to have approval of other people. And if you need a, a monetary status, to have someone's approval, then honestly, in my opinion, it's not worth gaining their approval, okay? And I think that this really comes to a lot of self-worth. I mean, really value who you are as a person. Because believe it or not, no matter what your bank account says, you don't need money to value yourself. And I think that there's actually really a negative snowball that can happen when people look at money as, as their own self-worth, okay? And what happens is if when people look at it that way, they say, okay, well, I don't have money. Now they, they become frustrated. Then it turns into depression and they get upset with their situation and it just snowballs and they go downhill. But here's the difference between successful people and unsuccessful people, whether it's push or pull motivation is that understanding that you're in a situation that you want to change and doing something about it. See, that's what really frustrates me is when I see people who are in situations that they, quite frankly, don't want to be in and they do nothing to change it. They do nothing to change it, okay? So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I wanted to really shed some light on both push motivation versus pull motivation, then give you guys a little bit of my story of my motivation and why I do what I do. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. And of course, if you're not subscribed to this channel and you want more videos just like this, I invite you to go down, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to hit that bell notification so that way you see more of the videos I put out in the future. This is Nathan with Freedom Influencer, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.